Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. This week we will be doing our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing and we have a box from Dayton, Ohio. Here is our first look. We have some interesting costume pieces. It looks like lots of fun little things that my daughter will most likely really enjoy. So let's go ahead and dive in. Don't forget to watch my YouTube shorts where you get to meet my family and go on our thrifting adventures. I have some, again, some costume pieces. Looks like this is gonna be a little beat up. I'm gonna put this in the lot box pile. If you're interested in a piece, all of my information is down in the description below. You can email me. You can also check out my Poshmark and Etsy shops. And all of my lot box pieces are $1 and under. I'm gonna put that in a lot box. This one is definitely going to my little girl. And she is turning four next week. I cannot believe it. My baby girl is turning four years old. She loves jewelry just as much as her mama. I'm gonna put that in a lot. It looks like a lot of broken pieces. All right, this is definitely going to my little ones. It maybe lights up. That's definitely something fun for my little babies. I love when I find pieces that I can share with them. It's always so fun to involve them and get them interested in jewelry. I'm going to put that in a lot. You guys, be sure to check out my video for next week where I will be unboxing with Dr. Lori. I'm so excited to be doing that with her. Gold, little gold piece there. Maybe broken. Triangle going to a lot. Stretch band going to a lot. All right, that's going to go to a lot as well. I want to do a big shout out to Melissa who sent me a wonderful box this past week for my sweet niece and my little girl. She sent us three little mugs for my babies and I cannot tell you enough, Melissa, how much I appreciate all of those goodies that you sent me. So thank you so much. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's. I'm gonna put that in an earring pile. I love a noisy statement necklace. This one's very noisy, I love it. I will do this one for $3. That's gonna go in a lot. Lot. Okay. It's magnetic, I will do this one for $1. do this one. It's kind of giving me a mother of pearl look. I'll do this one for one dollar. All right, let's see. Looks like some costume pearls. I like the gold clasp. I don't see any other markings. I'll do this one for one dollar. Oh, another lovely one for my girl. I'm gonna put that in a lot. Earring. We've got like the, the clown and a ghost pendant, it looks like. Another earring. These pieces, my goodness, my girl is going to make out good on this box. And that's a Disney piece. 
All right, that's gonna go in a lot. Hmm, how is this hooked in there? This earring's hooked in there somehow. We've got like the copper tone statement earring. All those are go in my earring pile. We will hope for some matches. I like the wrap bracelet. These little glass beads are cool with the shells. I'll do this one for $4. Clip-on earring. Going in a lot. Some broken beads. Ooh. Just tie Star necklace. Oh, it's a mood star. That's cool. I'll probably have to give this one to my niece or my daughter. Who doesn't love a little a mood ring? Another awesome costume piece for my daughter or my niece. I really do love sharing with them. It's so fun to see them get just as excited as I am over jewelry. Starting the next generation, right? Gold, little P, P for princess maybe. Got some earrings, looks like. I put that in a lot, not sure what that is. I like the etching on this. Don't see any markings, but it's not magnetic. Metallic gunmetal gray stretch band bracelet it's pretty scratched up it looks like got some good scratches in there i'm gonna put that in the lot pile i love these wire uh, i love these wire bracelets those purple beads are right up my alley give me that art deco look to it i will do this for three dollars Looks like maybe some hair bands. This is giving me kind of Tennessee vibes a little bit for Ohio. Usually Dayton gives me a little more pizzazz, but that's okay. Still got a couple good pieces for my little ones. Lots of dirty looking jewelry in here today too. And broken pieces. Okay, we found the other one those earrings it looks like another earrings wrapped in there too and a match so we found our first match to that i doubt i will keep those they look pretty beat up another silver tone with some designs in there lots of earrings the button you push what is the black button for <laughs> all right a jeweled earring looks like it's a little beat up though statement earring I like the little jewels in there so let's hope for a match for that one Right, maybe that other, I didn't know what that other one was. Looks like it's an earring and it has a match. They are magnetic. Right, this isn't magnetic, but I don't see any markings on it. So we'll put it to the side. Another lot box. Flounder. Rose. I'll do this one for $3. Looks a little beat up on that clasp.
so many costume pieces today. All those are going to go in a lot. It says, thank you, $1. It's got that glue on the back. Uh, I'm going to put that in a lot as well. Okay, we found another one of those little abstract looking earrings. Costume earring. I've gotten so many of these bracelets, Aries, Zodiac sign. And it's got a broken clasp. So we're going in a lot. It's a pretty brooch. It's got some of that, looks like some of that gold plating is coming off. All right, we have our second purple silver tone bracelet, that wire wrapping. I'll do that one for $3. Earring, filigree earring. Be nice if we'll find, if we find the match for that one. This looks to be maybe a clip-on with some jewels in there. Always got to make sure to look at those hooks. Definitely a statement piece. Put those in a lot. The seashell bracelets are all going to go in a lot. Got some earth stones going on in here. Let's get the presidium over here. Test some of these. It's kind of giving me that jade green look, but it's staying in that quartz. Glass. To get some amethyst. This almost looks like lapis. Okay. Turquoise. More like maybe some dyed quartz. I'm all, all about those earth stones and those colorful bracelets. I'll do this one for $3. Matching earrings. I'm going to put those in a lot. They look pretty beat up. Oh, check that out. Oh, that's cool. That's a fun design. So it goes through the heart. Yeah, I like that. Always love an interesting design. Okay, staying on glass and no markings, but... Again, very interesting design. All right, let's look at this little tiny gold heart. It's got a marking on here. Let me get my loop. It says Simple Whispers. RR, Simple Whispers. Tiny golden heart. No other markings. I love a really dainty piece. And I love those smaller earrings for my daughter. Here we go. Here's another one for her. Of course, she loves all things princesses and Disney related. Stretch band ring there. It's going to go over to the lot pile. Again, if you're interested in a lot piece, they will be available for $1 and under. Okay, is this like a teeny tiny bracelet or does this go on like a doll's head? It would definitely fit my daughter's wrist. So she's got her own huge pile going on already. We've got a light up ring. Definitely going to be giving this one to her. It needs a good wash, but she would definitely enjoy that. Earring, earring. And this is major Tennessee vibes. This is definitely um, 
not my usual Dayton boxes, but you know, getting some cool pieces for my little girl. Purple going to my girl. Like the double ring here. Something is wiggly on here. I think it's the flower. Okay, I'll do this one for one dollar. All of these lovely fun bracelets. You already know, they're going to Maggie's pile. Necklace going to Maggie. I love it. It's perfect for her. Her birthday, like I said, is next week. So I'm just going to, I'm going to give her a jewelry jar. I like this stretch band. Got some hearts, some flowers in there. I'll do this one for $1. You're always going to find your best prices for my items here on this channel. Turquoise color there. Another stretch band. We're on a roll with some stretch band bracelets today. And another one. Adjustable, stretchy. All right, we got some mystery hairs in here too. All of these are gonna go in a lot. Got some light pink flower there. Ooh. That's fun, fun earring. My phone is not gonna focus. It looks like this one's got a cuff to it. Some enameled earring there. Some more of those beads. Ooh. This one's got all the stones, it looks like, too. A lot of these rings are missing those stones. That is lovely. I'll do that one for $3. So glass beaded bracelet. I'll do this one for three dollars. Oh, it's a little tiny ring. Some oh well, that's going in a lot. <laughs> These things happen. These things happen all the time when you're doing this jewelry. They just break apart on you, which I'd prefer them to break on, on me than on a customer or my niece. Snowman. Okay, so we have some Victoria's Secret in here. Looks like some bra straps. Let's see. All right, so we do have some bra straps. It says very sexy. So those see-through. Giving me those early 2000s vibes in this box. Those have yellow just a little bit. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with those. Disney. This one's a little bit dirty. Strong. All of that's going to go in a lot. We've got quite the lot box pile going on. All right. Another statement earring. Birdhouse. Looks 
It's like a quartz bracelet. More stretch band, because that is the theme today. We are all about the stretch band. I'll do this one for $3. Shiny clip-on earring. All right, what's this one? It says, Luca and Danny born in the USA, and it's $28 with that tag. It's an owl. It opens up. I'll do this one for $8. Ooh, nice amethyst earring there. Let's look at this necklace. With love. Lana and Lily. I have had that brand before. Reminds me a lot of like a Chico's brand. And as a reseller, I would definitely resell this. I love the abalone on there. I'll do this one for $8. Beautiful necklace. Very shiny. All right, plastic bangle. Still learning a lot about those plastics. I always enjoy watching Dr. Lori's channel where she gives all of that awesome knowledge and advice, especially with resellers and reselling jewelry and pricing as well. So you guys always be sure to check out her channel and you can email her and check out her website where you can find tons of amazing information. She's been so extremely helpful on my reselling journey and I've really enjoyed some of the services that she offers. So be sure to check that channel out as well. You will not regret it. Lovely pendant. I'm very excited to have her on my channel next week. I hope you all can join in. And I would love if you guys could leave a comment with any of those jewelry questions you might have or reselling questions you have. I love uh, sharing your guys' questions with her. And I will be asking her those questions throughout the video. Very, very cute honeybee with a little honeycomb. I'll do this one for 12 I will say anything animal or bug related tends to sell well on my shops. If you're new to reselling, that's definitely something I would try and resell. This is a charm, it looks like. Feels like maybe it doesn't, un doesn't come apart. It does twist at the bottom. You know, this is going to Maggie's pile. She's got a massive pile over here. Oh my gosh. I think she's got half the box. Lucky girl this week. Gold tone. I'll do this one for $3. It's in good condition, which I will take since this box has been, it's been interesting for Dayton, Ohio. Are these a shoe? I think these go on a shoe, right? Very shiny. All right, this got a J on it. So is this a, does this go on here though? It unhooks. I feel like that doesn't really look like it goes together. Like J for Juicy Couture. That's what it looks like to me. I have not seen a little pin like that before for Juicy. I like the gold and silver on that one, though. Cool bracelet. Got some fun paint splatters on there. Costume, another lovely costume one. Okay, see in. I see that stamp on a lot of the silver pieces that I get. So I'm thinking maybe that's silver. I don't see any other markings that say silver. 
Oh, let's see. We do have that 925 marking on there, so let's hope for a match. All right, look at the look. Let's look at this amethyst hook earring. Premier Designs brooch. I'll do this one for $3. Here we go with that. It looks like we have an extender for maybe a watch or a bracelet. Got the match to that other jeweled black earring. I'm just going to dump the rest of this out for you. Ah, we're losing all these beads. All right, let's just dump it out. Let's see what we've got down here at the bottom. All right. Yay, we found the match to that earring. I just love, I don't really wear a lot of statement earrings, but I love them. I do love them. Maybe I should wear them more often. This would actually go perfectly with my outfit today. But they look in pretty good condition. Okay, one's missing one stone, but it's actually kind of hard to tell because of the silver backing. Those are easy to replace, though, and I will do these for $5. Ooh, look at that bracelet. J. Crew, another great resellable brand. One that sells fairly quickly and easily for me. I will do this one for $12. I love a good gold bangle. I have quite a few. All right, these look like leather earrings. Little strips of leather. I'll do these for $2. All of these are going to go. These ones are fun. These like jelly type bracelets. All of those are going to my girl. She is one lucky girl this week. Lots of goodies for her. And for her and her brothers to fight over. A stretchy band ring. I'll do that for $2. Those are going to go in a lot. Oh, that's going to go in a lot. I'll do this one for $1. Japan. So these are maybe some vintage clip-on earrings, plastic. I'll do these for 12 I like that marbled look. I love a good marble design. All right, we have a we have a plug-in, a hair tie. No markings on these. Oval plastic earrings. Maybe some more turquoise. It's definitely giving me some silver look to it. Let's test it with the magnet. It is magnetic. Oh, it's giving me a, some lapis. It's got some gold flecks in it. And on that inside, so I'm thinking this is maybe plastic. Look at that, like white on the inside. Maybe this was another Elsa type of bracelet. I think I found the other piece of that earlier. I've got a little piggy, almost like a piggy bank maybe. 
little charm. So many single earrings. I want to say, you know what? Honestly, the last box I got from Dayton was okay. It was like, it was, eh. Sometimes I get really good boxes from Dayton, though. I said $5.95 for these. I will do them for $1. All right, got another one of these. Charms. Except it's Noah's Ark. Got some gold tones in there and silver. I'll do this one for $2. Little rose. Pearls, missing one of those pearls. Silver cross. I do, I do love the silver single earrings because they're so easy to turn into pendants. I'm going to be doing some shorts videos on that in the very near future. Show you guys how I change them into pendants. It's very easy. And if you're a reseller, it's always nice to be able to be reselling all these pieces. Magnetic earring. Got some tiny jewels in here. Let's see. Sack, I think that's Avon, I wanna say. Little teeny guys in here, let's see. No reading. I'm almost positive those are Avon, but hey, at least it's a match. Maybe vintage. I'll have to do some research. More of those broken pieces. What's this say? Monet. Got some grooves in there. I will do these for $4.00. All right, we have a match to that other turquoise that is not sterling. So I will do that pair for, let's see. There's the pair for you. I'll do this for $3. Little tiny flower with some little tiny jewels. Looks to be maybe broken. All the rest looks like lots of broken little pieces. Okay. It looks like we might have had a match to this one as well. I do remember so many earrings, so it's hard to remember if there was a match or not. That'd be a fun pendant. Kind of the cracked glass look. Can't quite read what that says. But got some gold and silver in there. Alrighty. So Dayton, you know what? I, I can't complain. I got a huge pile to give to my daughter and she's going to love that for her birthday. It's always interesting to get some of these funkier boxes, but we got some really cool single earrings. We got some J crew. We got some matching earrings, an entire pile for my little girl. And maybe some vintage pieces. So thank you all for stopping by today. I would love if you guys could leave that comment for Dr. Lori. I would love if you guys could join us next week. Of course, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time.